Welcome guys to a very strange video normally. We, we don't normally do a lot of MotoGP on this channel. I have had MotoGP on the channel before, but this one is the first MotoGP game on the PS2. It was, um, I picked it up for like, what was it, like 50 pence. If you're wondering why I keep switching between arcade and season, it's because normally it goes to, um, it normally goes to like a, you know, like a demo mode like they used to. But we're going to arcade, I've just hit the desk with me controller. Surprisingly, so the circuits in this game, they're not many. There's only Suzuka, Paul Ricard, Jerez, Donington, and Motegi. Now, I've only raced Suzuka and Paul Ricard, but I'm going to... Well, because it's just finished, well, it's just been done. I don't know how long I'm going to have this on. But uh, we're going to do a four-lap race at Jerez. And you have to unlock riders in this game. That's why I don't have many of them. Because I haven't played the game as much as... Like other, well, as much as I normally probably would have done, but for this video, I think if I can find them, the Yamaha has a, a red bike on here. This was round and about the time I started watching the MotoGP, so, um, so I'm going to probably go for let's go for Kana, Kane Moto Honda. I'm probably just butchered that name, but all right, level I'm gonna put it on hard because. I know what these games like, simulation settings, yeah, that's just bike settings, but let's get on with the race then. I didn't expect it to start that quick. Get ready, and we're underway. I don't know how loud this, you know, this game is going to be, that's background music, we don't need anything like that. It's not going to be playing anyway, because I've turned it off, but um, I wondered what this... Got to be careful, don't want to fall off the motorbike here. Coming through the first turn. Oh, we're on the grass. I've not raced at Jerez on this game. Oh, we've just bumped into a rider. As we're sliding, coming out of this... Yeah, this is... Oh, dear. Don't fall off. Yeah, but you guys know I, I do play a bit of MotoGP. Well, I used to. I've got a MotoGP 17 series. Although it's been a while since I've uploaded it. That's actually at Jerez, Jerez and all. That might be coming up. There is a button you can press to wheelie on here. I'm not sure what it is, but it might be one of the weird buttons. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a difficult game this is. Unless you're on, on normal difficulty and then it becomes extremely easy. As we, it's on simulation because, well, I need it on simulation because... If not, it's too easy on the easy diff... Well, on not... On a arcade, I think it is. I've also got MotoGP2, guys. So if you want to see a video on that as well, let me know as we... There's quite a few riders in here that, you know, are legends of the sport now. Because I think... What year is it based on? Like 2000, 2001? Oh dear, we, we're sliding through there, yeah, and, we well, three laps to go, it's, is it Creville? Oh, we're on the grass because I'm watching on what's leading, but or who's leading. And now you can look behind, but it's not just a button you can hold down. You can, you can have a specific view to look back, but you have to change it to go back looking forward again. So it's weird, but I'm not a big fan of having to unlock the riders, though. That's what I'm not a big fan of. But, it adds a bit of sense of playability to the game, doesn't it? What is this guy doing in front of me, here? Yeah? Oh, what are you doing? That, you shouldn't have done that. You should not have bumped into me there. That was unfair. That's sliding through there. We, To be fair, you're going to be sliding a lot. On, it's unrealistic how, how much you're sliding, but... Compared to the real ride... Well, the, not the real ride, it's the AI, but... We're doing alright. We're up into peeping 15. On the brakes for the hairpin. This is a pain in the pain in the backside. This hairpin is on the MotoGP 17 game, which I, I'll probably bring that series back if you guys would want to see it. As I'm on the brakes, Carlos Checker. I know him. Well, I know of him because, well, we're finally racing around riders that I grew up basically watching in a way because this was around the era I started watching. Are they all cheering for something? I don't know. 
either the cheering or the booing, I don't know, but... Oh, we're just banging off other, other riders. But yeah, the... I think the main season I started watching was, um, yeah, Valentino Rossi had the yellow Honda, the NR500. I think that's, it's on the front cover of Moto2, MotoGP2, so up to 12 with two laps to go. So we're doing okay, so hard difficulty is, does seem like it would be a good thing for, for me to start racing on if we, uh, if we do get into a series, but it's going to be proper late on if I do a series on it. Because because uh, I was discussing it with a few other friends of mine, a couple other YouTubers, when I met up with them, and you know, mentioning about you know bringing maybe back, maybe playing through the Italian job again. But uh, they they did bring up a good point, and also I agreed with them about it about you know flooding the channel with content. But yeah, um, there's Abe, A-B-E, Abe, I think it's Abe. Can we get up the inside of Abe? Yes, we can, on the curb. Can we Can we hold him off? Yes, we can, beautiful pass. It's a good Honda, this is. I really like this Honda. It's blue as well, so that goes, that goes well. That's one of my favorite colors. Or e even if it is my favorite color, I might have to change my banners and stuff to... On it won't be a Mo Jam Sankith MotoGP video without me falling off. I know Kenny Roberts in third and McDoonan. But I'll stay quiet for a moment, guys, so you guys can hear the bike. It's a good sounding bike, isn't it? Oh, a good sounding game. With this, oh, we just run into the back of... Is that one of the... His hair... I didn't notice his hair's flapping about outside his helmet. Okay, I didn't realise about that. As a... Is it Creville? Cryville? I don't really know how to pronounce his name. We've fallen off twice. Bollocks. I was going to say, our battle for the top ten is nearly... Well, it is on. We could have got the top ten, but... Had it not for me falling off my motorbicycle. Okay, going through the gears. Down into this hairpin. Again, can we get... Oh, no, we've just bumped into him. We've given him an almighty bump draft. Okay, hold the Honda steady. Get up the inside of the next turn. Get in there. What a pass. As long as we don't fall off. No, he's fighting back on us. Can we get back up the inside? Yes, we can. This is where we fell off on the f last lap. That was close to coming around the final corner, though, the the race leaders. As we're coming around the... the well, not around the final corner. There we go. The race is finished. I'm going to say it's Cryville or Curville. Probably Curville, but I'm wrong. I, I might be wrong. Here we go, we're coming up to the final corner. Can we make a last ditch attempt into the top ten? We got the bike sideways, we were going the other way at that point. He's... Can we get a good run off? Come on, yes, we're going to get a top ten. Look at that, a bit of beating and banging. But we finish in tenth place in this MotoGP race at Jerez. So yeah, it's been, it was a good, that was a good lap I think. I think that was a good, a good starting point for this for this race or this this game because I haven't played it well I, I've played it a, l a little bit but not much so um, just trying to look at the replay to get a good thumbnail shot of the bike but I don't know if I can get one but now nah, let's never worry not worry about that I'll sort that out and um, yeah Alex Kerville in on a Honda the NSR 500 okay so that must be the Rossi bike then Kenny Roberts finished third. Akoi? Akai? Akoi? 
I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Max Biaggi finished fifth. I remember him. Alex Barros. Yeah, I remember some of these names. Uh, Galos Checker, of course. I remember him. And yeah. So yeah, guys. Thank you for watching Moto G this MotoGP video. We finished half a minute off the pace, which isn't unusual. And um, yeah. I will see you if you know for another MotoGP video if you want to see it again. Or see another one. Let me know in the comments, guys. And I will see you next time.